In this video, you will learn how to filter and trim reads with the tool Filter and Trim Reads with Dada2 in Chipster. So in this video, we will go through why read trimming and filtering is a very important step and what things need to be considered when continuing with the Dada2 based workflow. In addition, we will go through all the filtering and trimming possibilities available in Chipster and how to set and define the parameter values. And then finally, we will check the resulting output files and how they look like. So, trimming and filtering of reads is a key step in the microbial community analysis and in identifying the amplicon sequence variants, so the ASBs. So just to note that you should always filter and trim your reads when continuing with the Data2 based workflow. Because even if your reads are high quality, you need to take a few things into account. So at first, all the ambiguous bases or bases called N must be removed before continuing with the next analyzing steps. And that's it because those ambiguous bases can interfere the denoising algorithm and it will create errors. And then in addition, you need to remove the adapter and primer sequences. For that, you can use also the cut adapt or trimomatic adapter, adapter trimming tools in Chipster. To learn how to use cut adapt in Chipster, you can check the video on remove primers and adapters with cut adapt in this channel. It is also important to trim low quality bases and filter reads which are too short because clean data gives more accurate results and runs more efficiently. And reads which are too short can create errors as well. And this tool removes those reads matching against the Phi-X genome. So filter and trim reads with Data2 tool in Chipster is based on the filter and trim function of the Data2 library. So as input, you need to give a tar package of FASTQ files, which you can create in Chipster with the tool make a tar package. And all the input files in the tar package can be compressed as well. And the reads can be either single or paired end, but you need to specify that with the first parameter on the parameters tab. And if the reads are paired end, the tar package should contain a forward and a reverse FASTQ file for each sample and both reads need to pass the filter in order to be kept. And there is quite many different trimming and filtering options available in Chipster. So let's go them through one by one. I can just note that the optimal parameter values depends always on your data. And you can try how changing some parameter values affect the results. But at first, I could recommend you to always run the tool read quality with multi QC for many FASTQ files and inspect the resulting multi QC report to find information of your reads. And for more information on the quality scores and multi QC report, you can check the video on the quality control of raw reads in our channel. But here down, you can see one important plot of the multi QC report, which shows the base qualities per each position of the read, so here. So we have used here paired end Illumina MySeq data from the V4 region of the 16S RNA gene. So like you can see here, it's quite typical for Illumina data that the quality scores tend to decrease towards the end of the reads. So like here, you can see. And that the reverse files, so these one are the forward files and these one the reverse files. So that the reverse files tend to have to tend to be worse quality than the forward reads. So like here, you can see that the quality of the forward reads uh, starts to drop after or around 240 basis. But on the reverse reads, it drops already around 160 basis. So with the filter and trim reads with Data2, 
tool, you can set the truncation value for reverse and forward reads independently. So here, the first two. So based on the multi-QC report, we could truncate the forward reads here after 240 bases and the reverse reads after 160 bases. However, you should keep in mind that your paired reads need to still overlap after the truncation in order to merge them into contigs later. So in this example, we had almost a complete overlap and therefore we could set quite strict trimming parameters. However, if your reads are from different regions and don't have a complete overlap, you might want to keep that in mind when setting the parameter values. And if you have single end reads, you can just ignore this parameter for reverse reads and use the parameter of for forward reads. And those two parameters, so these two, will also filter out the, those sequences which are shorter than the specified value. So which are shorter than 240 or 160 here. But however, if the read length varies, or the length of the amplified region, for example, the ITS region, then in that case, you can use the remove reads, which are shorter than this parameter instead. So this one. And the minimum length is enforced after all other trimming and truncation. And there is also the option to truncate reads after the first instance of a certain base quality. And the default value is set to 2, which is a very bad quality score. And you can turn off this behavior by setting this value to be 0. And the remove nucleotides from start of the read, so this one, can be used as an easy way to remove adapter or primer sequences from the start of the reads. So then there are also multiple filtering options available. So at first, like I told already, you should always discard all the sequences containing any ambiguous or n bases. So you should keep this one in zero. And then in addition, there isn't the option to filter sequences based on the number of expected errors per read. So expected error field filtering is considered to be a more efficient way to filter sequences than just by the average quality scores. And the expected errors are calculated as the sum of error probabilities and the threshold is set to 2 by default. And the lower the expected error value of the read is, the better quality the reads are. So you can also define the threshold again independently for reverse and forward reads, which might be useful if, for example, the reverse reads are much worse quality. And the expected error filtering is also recommended because, like told before, cleaning the data makes the next steps more efficient and more accurate. And if your reads are very high quality, you can also consider increasing the threshold value to speed up the downstream computation. And more information on the expected er error filtering you can find out on this article here, which I will put to the video notes as well. And then finally, as the output, you will get these three files here. So all the filtered FASTQ files are compressed and put to the filtered FASTQ star package. Then on the right side here, you can see the summary TSV table, which shows how many reads were filtered. So each row corresponds to one sample. And the first column shows how many reads there were before running the tool. And then the second one shows how many reads were left after all filtering. So if you notice that many of the reads are lost, you can consider relaxing the parameter values, especially the expected error threshold and turning off the truncate reads after the first instance of a quality score parameters. And at, as the third output file, you will get the samples FASTQ's text file. So it's a text file allowing you to check if the FASTQ files were assigned correctly to each sample. So if you have patent data, you should always check that the assignment to samples went correctly. So here the first column 
is the sample name or the sample identifier. Then the second one is the forward FASTQ file, and then the third one the reverse FASTQ file. So if you notice something weird here, you can edit this file and give as input to this tool. And if you have patent data, the files should be named like this, that the forward and reverse files have the same name like this, but a different tag like R1 for forward reads and R2 for reverse files. And the sample name, so this one, should also be separated by an underscore mark, like here. And you will get this kind of file if you have single end reads as well.